Hey guys, I've tried to record this tutorial several times with no luck, so I'm going to try to make it a little faster this time, see if that helps any. Um, I've already got the project set up, it's called Bucky's Tutorials. Um, Bucky is an individual known as the new Boston here on YouTube that does a lot of Java tutorials and other um, things such as iPhone tutorials, gaming, I mean he just he gets into a little bit of everything when it comes to programming and games. So what I wanted to do was make a program it is just essentially just a simple linker that will link to all his different sites. So I'm going to go ahead and debug this. And hopefully I can show all this. Should be okay. Um, so it comes up with YouTube just as a starter. So what we got here is just a simple web browser. And then it's several drop down boxes and a few con web controls. Nothing fancy. Try to keep it super simple. So I'm going to go to the video series, I'm just going to select the first one because that's all that's really set up right now, but as you can see he does several. So Java programming tutorials, and then we got this other drop down box, 1 through 87, just pick any of them, let's go to JList program. And there you go, there's his tutorial. Really it's as simple as that, it can be more complicated but uh, for the sake of a quick tutorial such as this, I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to close this out, give you an idea of the code. It's basically just if-then statements. So on form load, it's going to navigate to youtube.com, and the selective index of both combo boxes are going to be zero. And script errors suppressed, that's so you don't have any script errors come up and ask you if you'd like to continue yes or no and all that. So that's a good thing to have on there. Um, then you get the standard code for the buttons. Go back, go forward, navigate, home button. Um, we're going to what's in the address box text. I think you can get a, an idea of everything that's going on here. If you hit enter, so forth. And you'll have time to look at this. I need to keep going. So if the selected index is 1, meaning if they selected Java tutorials, then combo box number two will be shown, as you can see here. And in combo box two, basically, if the selected index is one, it's going to go to the first one. If it's two, it's going to go to the second one, and so on. And so these are the slots, basically. And technically, the first one is zero, and the next one is one. But the first one says, let's choose a series or something, you know. And so they're all matched up pretty well. If one is the first tutorial, and so on all the way down. So this is just one giant if, if el else if, then statement, however you want to say it. Going all the way through. And you can make this for anything. I, I made it for my school classes, our seminars, and you know a lot of people appreciate a program like this. So that's kind of why I'm putting it up here. If you've got somebody that has one browser and they got tons of favorites in that one browser, well then that's a waste of time. But if you give this option to them, therefore creating another browser and say they only wanted to look up medical things. Well then you can make this strictly a medical browser and they can open it when they're wanting to do their medical work. And it just makes things so much easier. You may have four icons on your desktop, each of which is a different kind of browser that they've named independently. Medical browser, science browser, uh, sports browser, porn browser, whatever, you know, just, I don't know, anything. That's up to the user themselves. Alright, so that's everything. Thanks.